it's me Alicia with AP Laser and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a multi-layered acrylic sign using our SN4836 LR machine. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up our Lightburn. And once we have Lightburn open, I'm just going to go ahead and import the artwork that I want to cut into this sign. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to file here and open. So a simple way of doing the vector art for signs like this is directly in Corel Draw or Illustrator if you have the Adobe Suite. They're the same program essentially, they just have different UIs. Now you will notice we have the six different panels. Obviously they don't all fit on the machine at once. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and separate these so that we cut one at a time. And really you could do this several ways. The easiest way for me is honestly, you can just take what you don't wanna cut Select all those and just get rid of them. Once you send that to the machine, you can undo what you just did. I'm going to select this guy because we did that one. Delete those and then so on and so forth. So it's a really easy process to get this done. And honestly, getting this cut out is super, super quick too. So this is a really easy and quick project to do that can turn out some real revenue. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my first piece of artwork here. I'm going to get rid of everything I don't want to cut. I have this here and it is sized to my material, which is 24 by 24. If you want to double check that up here, make sure your height and width are locked so nothing gets distorted. And this should be good for me here. If I wanted to change it so it is actually 24 by 24, I can go ahead and up that there. But I'm going to leave it just a little bit off the edges so it has some room to breathe. So once we have that set, we want to make sure our settings are right for cutting acrylic. We are using, as I said, the 4836LR machine, which is a 100 watt system. So I'm gonna go up to my speed and power settings here. Make sure I'm set to line under mode so that I'm cutting. I can just double click on the speed and power here. And right now I have it set to a speed of one, a max power of 97 and a min power of 95. And those are my usual go-to settings for cutting an eight inch thick acrylic that we have here. So everything should be good to go. So I just hit okay, and then I send it to the machine.